Okay, today I'm going to be showing you the world's largest homemade fire tornado. So the design for this came from the backyard scientist, the non-moving parts fire tornado. Essentially, he cut a cylinder of glass in half and off-shifted them, and so it creates a vortex of air inside as the fire burns. And so I decided to up the ante on that a little bit and build an eight foot tall one. So what I've got here is an eight foot high plastic tube and we have creases on either side so the air can enter in here and the air can enter in here going opposite directions and so what that does as the fire burns the air goes in this side and coming in this side on the other way and it makes a swirling effect and so the fire goes up like a tornado and one thing I'm going to be doing a little bit different, instead of putting the fuel just on the bottom, I'm going to be soaking this rope in fuel, and so we'll get the fire going up the full length. If you just do it on the bottom, then the fire, uh, it loses a lot of heat as it goes up, and you don't get the full length tube filled with fire. So first step is to soak your rope in fuel. In this case, I'm using gasoline. Okay, so we'll do two tries. Be sure to watch my second try because it doesn't go so well. <laughs> tornado! <laughs> So look how the smoke makes a tornado in there. It's really cool. As it cools, it doesn't make as much of a tornado. But at the bottom, as the air comes in this side and the other side, it swirls it around. So the hotter it is, the faster it swirls. But then as it rises up, it slows down. So there it goes. Uh oh, our top's burning. Okay, so let's just pause that right there. So yes, you did just see me try to blow out a gasoline soaked rope that was on fire. It doesn't work. Okay, so that didn't go so well. This is one of the reasons you don't use plastic. It was fire retardant plastic, but not melt proof. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when a new video comes out. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section or any suggestions you want to see me do next time. And we'll see you next time.